Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Misao. Now, I have played this game before, but it's been so long ago that I barely remember anything about the game. Uh, I remember some of the plot, but that's really about it. So I'm gonna try to play it. So hopefully this goes well, and yeah, let's just begin. By the way, fun fact, this game was made by the same person who made Mad Fodder, which is one of my favorite RPG horror maker games ever. I love that game so much. So without further ado, let's begin Miso. It's like your protagonist it will not change the story. Well, I am a girl. Oh, I have pigtails. I'm so cute! Uh, I will be Pandora. Yeah, that works. Pandora is alright. This game contains grotesque, grotesque imagery and black humor, as well as depictions of violence, murder, bullying, and sexual assault. Be cautious of these elements as you play the game. It faded before I could finish reading. I'm a very slow reader. That's alright. Help. Find me. Miso? Uh, Miso? Is that you, Miso? Miso! <clears throat> that voice crack. <coughs> okay, let me just scoot that back a little bit. There we go. Was I dreaming? I thought I heard Miso. I guess it was just a dream. It's been three months. Oh no! It's so late! I'm gonna be late for school! You don't understand me, Mom! Why didn't you wake me up? Misa never stood out too much in our class. She was just a simple girl, really. I wasn't too close to her, but I was always wondering about Misa, always by herself. I hoped I could be her friend, but that didn't happen. Three months ago, Misa went missing. She wasn't coming to school, and she hadn't come home either. <gasps> it's the slippers! It's the slippers from Paranoiac! They followed me! They do love me! She never. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I had to geek out a little bit. She never seemed the type to flee home. Our parents were saying that she might have gotten involved in something. Well, I'm off. Bye, slippers. See ya. Our class spread. <laughs> Our class spread the rumor that Misa was long dead by now. I really hope they're wrong. I wanted to be her friend. Find me. Oh, this is the Heartache 101 start of the day. Oh. Just the beginning of it was. There was a little jingle. That's also another game I'm going to be playing sometime soon. I love that game, too. Sota. So. Here and then you have... Sota. The attractive teacher of Pandora's class, popular with students for his generosity. Mr. Soda's as cool as ever. Like, totally. That voice I heard in my dream. Was that me, Sal? You've got guts to ignore my lecture. Eek! This information will be essential for the test, so you'd better listen. Y yes sir I'm sorry. Giggle. Hehehe. <laughs> and now I'm distressed. 
And there goes my self-esteem. Just like high school. Oh hey, Ayaka, hi! Mr. Soda has a new suit. Like, wow, super suave, like totally. Ayaka, Pandora's best friend, a fad following girl who looks up to Mr. Soda. Mr. Soda. <laughs> oh, what soda is he? Is he Pepsi or is he Mountain Dew? Ayaka, you've been talking him up all morning! Don't you ever get tired of blabbing? But he's such a ladies' man. He's so nice and smart and, like, the best. Oh, yeah. Gotta use some hand screen. Do, 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 do. Did you hear? Like, I did. There's a rumor Mr. Soda has a hand fetish. That's mildly disturbing, but okay. So maybe if I clean my hands constantly, like every day all the time, he'll like me more. Like, totally. I don't really care, Ayaka. Don't really care, she says. Ha! You've got no eye for men. Like, totally, Pandora. Seriously, what do you see in the seducer like Toma? Like, seriously. I, I never said I liked anyone. I just think he's kind of cool, that's all. She totes likes him. Really? <laughs> yes, really. Like, whatever. There's been some spooky paranormal business going on at this school. I'm getting a little freaked. Yoshino. Paranormal my... I can't say that word. <laughs> Paranormal my butt. Toma, Pandora's classmate. A boy carefree in appearance, personality, everything. I'm for real. It's for real. The other day, a kid in the other class got dragged away in the bathroom. Yoshino. Pandora's classmate, leader of the boys. Oh great, she's that character. There was also the glass in the third floor hallway being broken from inside. Kudo, Pandora's classmate, a calm, ever early maturing youth. Gotta be ghosts! I completely forgot what name I gave- not what name, what voice I gave her already. I'm so scared. Satome. Pandora's classmate. Just Atome for short. Toma's girlfriend. I thought of a better, a better voice to give her. Ghosts, huh? I wish I could say that word. I'm, I'm kind of under YouTube probation, and one of the... Things I agree to is I can't really actually curse. I can say alternatives to the words. So that was as per my agreement with my mom. So I can say arse. It's because she gets her and my dad watch wrestling, and there's a wrestler named Seamus who says that all the time, so they kind of get a kick out of it. So I can get away with saying that, just not the actual word. Unless I'm really, really mad, then they understand. Ghosts, huh? Dumb arse. Those ain't real. I apologize to any British or Irish viewers I am apparently offending right now. I am very sorry. I really apologize for this. Wait, what if? This is Misao's curse. Look, this is no time for jokes. But I mean, it's totally impossible. It's been three months since she vanished, then this stuff just suddenly starts. That hurts my throat to do. If those events are Misao's curse, then Yoshino will be cursed sooner or later. Ouch. Sorry, trying to move around a little bit. Hmm? <laughs> Whatever did I do? Yoshino, you did bully Misao a lot. 
annoying. Why? I never. I was just making a little fun. <clears throat> Sorry, I need a drink so I could hydrate my throat again. Train, thank you for making your unneeded cameo. And Toma always. <sighs> really? Can you use language I can use? Toma always messed with me, Sal. You're the one who'll get cursed. Me? Ha! I'm fine. Me, Sal looked up to me. I wonder. Toma, I'm scared. I mean, I'm your girlfriend. Me, Sal might have a grudge. That's my Princess Peach voice. That's also the ditzy blonde voice I use a lot. No offense to any blondes out there. I'm actually a blonde, too, so don't worry. I mean, I have blue hair, what? Don't sweat it, Atome. I'll protect you. Oh, you're so sweet, Toma. Psh. Do what you like, lovebirds. Misao. Please don't curse us. The rest of fair game, though. Oops, did I say that out loud? <laughs> What have you done? Toma, never say that again. An earthquake? No, Misa's curse. W what? It got dark right quick. What the heck's going on? Maybe, just maybe, it really is Misa's curse? Misa's real mad at us. Sh shut up. What the heck? I was just kidding about that curse crap. I can't say crap though. Ah. Uh, Pandora, like, what's totally going on? Help. Miso? Miso! I can hear it speaking to me. Oh, now it's gotta be her. Sh shut it! I don't hear her darn voice. Pandora, you you're talking crazy talk. I'm not. Ah! Find me. Me. Me so. Find me, find me, find me, find me. Help, 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 help. Find me, find me. Miso? I'll save you, Miso! I'm coming to your rescue! Forget Toma and the others. And that Yaka can just go moisturize her hands all she likes. Uh, Miso. Ah, you finally come too. Where am I? I was just in the classroom. And who are you? Oh my gosh, it's Ogre. Ogre from Mad Father. Holy crap, you followed me. Well, I feel a little bit safer now. I am a Nagra. Nagawara? I'm just gonna call him Ogre. I am Ogre. The student council president. And this is the student council room. Luckily for you, you've ended up somewhere safe. Ended up? After the earthquake, the school was sucked into another world. The sent those inside flying all across the school. Another world? What's that supposed to mean? And why would that happen? Good point. Well, it's a curse. Here we go. <laughs> this was the plot of the West and of Mad Father too. The I'm not gonna spoil it too much, but it was a curse that made bad things happen in the last game too. And he was around in the last game too. That's why I'm calling him Ogre instead of that really confusing and hard to pronounce name. Onigawa Gawa I can't even pronounce it. There's too many A's. Ah <sighs> It is the result of a girl's curse that this school was sealed in the other world. A curse. Couldn't be 
Misao. President Elgar. <sighs> finally made it. I thought I was a goner. So you finally so you finally returned to this library. She's the school's vice president, always in the library. So that's what we call her. So then, Miss Library, how does it look? It's messed up and gunked up and funked up. The foundation and everything is wrecked. I haven't been able to find any exits. Plus, your evil spirits are going and attacking people. I saw a student killed before my very eyes. I'll never be able to eat hamburgers again. Oh, it was frightening. So I see. Thank you for your report. You may retire for now. Yes, well, I'm going back to the library. Call me anytime you need me. Evil spirits. The curse must have summoned them. The school is now a den of spirits, and there's nowhere to run. Uh, um... There's only one solution. Undoing the girl's curse. There's surely no other way. How am I supposed to undo a curse? Magic water! By saving the girl's soul, Miss Pandora, you must know what it is you have to do. I do? Find me. I have to find Misao's body. Misao is calling me, so she wants to be found. Mr. Ogre, I'll go look for me, Sal. So you will. As library informs me, the school is full of evil spirits, and yet you wish to go? I will, because... Me, Sal, is my friend. Understood. You are entrusted with the fate of the school. I believe you can do it. If you encounter any trouble, pay a visit to the library on the second floor. She will try her best to help. If you wish to make a record... Please talk to me, and I will do so for you any time. Thank you! You can also press C or Shift to make a quick save. Delete when the game is closed. You can ask the library for more details. Okay, I understand. I pray for your safety. I'm gonna go ahead. Okay. So, this is school. Okay then. Let's go in here. Well, there's blood everywhere. Animal prints. Principal's diary. X U R E X. Cloudy. The emergency exit key fell out of the vase. Somebody pick it up. Okay. Inspect. Ow! Got pricked by a rose thorn. Ugh! Rose was poisoned. It courses through Pandora's body. Her. Yep, there she goes. Well, that was fun. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Destroy it! You can't break it with your bare hands. Aw. Fine, I'll get a baseball bat. Or the baseball bats. Wait, what? The crap! Oh, God! Gosh dang it. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> there are like a thousand deaths in that room. Isn't there? Principal's diary. Okay. So check all the bases. Got it. Ogre. Thank you. 
I'll be off. Hopefully. Oh, what? Oops, sorry. There we go. Ooh, vending machine. No, let's not. We're dead. Oh. Scream. What the heck? Holy crap, I think Aya's here somewhere. Uh, I'm afraid to touch anything. Door in these places. Okay, thank you. I guess. Filled with water. Oh, it's on now! Come here! You can die now! Break it! Good job. Sweet! Oh, thank you! like to save, sir. Thank you. I like Ogre. I liked him in Mad Father, so I kind of like him here, too. Anyone else want a piece of this? Let's go in the girls' bathroom. Oh, well, there's blood everywhere. That's lovely. You're not here. Can I go in the boys' bathroom? Yes, I can. Ooh, fire extinguisher. Oh, I can't take it. <gasps> Toma! Just what to use. Oh, fire extinguisher! Come here! Satome! She pwned him. I'm sorry I couldn't save you. Dead. Well, that's good to know. You know what? I'm just not gonna knock. I'm getting the heck out of here. This place is crazy. Very crazy. Oh, I'm in the hospital room. You, you good? It's convulsing. Well, I'm just gonna close this for you, sir. Can I? No, I can't close it. That's lovely. Nothing out of the ordinary, nothing out of the ordinary. I'm just gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna check a few more places and then I'm gonna leave this episode off. So, uh, hopefully we can find something interesting. Other than a Tome being killed. Uh... Hello? Yeah, I kind of thought so. Really, Ayaka just stands there staring at the book. Ayaka, thank goodness you're safe. Pandora, you're like, just in time. Now's the chance of a lifetime. Since nobody's around, we're free to look in Mr. S Soda's desk. Like, totally. Oh, come on. There's no time for that. Look at what's happening to the school, and look at what happened to Otome. Look, top drawer. Packed with love letters to Mr. Soda. Who dares? Who is it who dared to send love letters to my Mr. Soda? Like, let's find out what they wrote. Ayaka, that really doesn't matter right now. Let's get somewhere safe. No way, I can see everything. Like, and I haven't even looked in the bottom drawer. You can pass up the opportunity, like, but I won't. Fine. What do I care? Have fun looking at your creepy hand fetish loving uh, t 
teacher. Whatever. Not that there's a bad thing about that. I, I don't judge people. Just video game people. <laughs> I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Hello? I'm just gonna go. I'm getting a really bad vibe about that room. Oh, this is the classroom. That's cool. Nope, nothing there. It's important. Run. Nope. I think I'm just gonna go find Ogre and end this off. So, thank you guys for watching. Tell me if you liked it in the comment section below and tell me what you would do to make this any better. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more, because I will be doing more. And check out Paranoiac if you like watching me do horror games. That one's way scarier than this so far. So, bye guys. Stay awesome. Pondora out.